this is this is a surprise. We got Ian back on, but Matt, can you tell us the latest in 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 the mortgage game? What is FHA's new loan requirements? What is something? What's can you give us a, a quick gem for the people? First off, this Matt, is, you looking good though. Yo, you see how he just walked in and brought all that light? <laughs> bro? Yo, as soon as he came, yeah, 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 I'm gonna let the light shine on you, bro. You know, I told you. Here, 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 sit down. So I told you on my IG, I'm stepping into my greatness. That's a fact. That's, that's, what, that's, that's, what, that's what this chapter of my life is called. So I've got to bring the sunlight everywhere I go. Please uh, do. Mark, Market Monday was good, people. The master investor, the greatest investor of this generation. How hey, are I you, sir? You. I'm great, see, man. You're looking good. You know, I see you back to your ghost fits. I love it. <laughs> the pocket <laughs> square is back. The pocket square is back. I do a little bit. To drop a million. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on in the real estate mortgage world. You know, obviously, you have interest rates back a little bit above 3% on conventional mortgages as of today. Um, FHA mortgage rates are, you know, right around 25 2.75% depending on what lender you're talking to. Um, shout out to everybody in the comments showing me love. Shout out to all our earners. It is earner season, bunker season. Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag that. <laughs> Hashtag that, just so y'all know. <laughs> you know for, for, real, that's dope. for real estate investors, what are some of the hottest areas to invest in right now that maybe missed out earlier this year? Shit, wherever you can afford to keep it real with you. You know, everybody's budget is different, right? I was speaking to people here in LA. Um, you know, we was at TJ Millionaire House. Um, shout out to TJ Millionaire. Um, and I, I second what Rashad said. The dopest house I've ever been into in my life. Um, but we're we come out there and get inspired. <laughs> like I'm, I'm super inspired. But you know, I'm speaking to folks there, and they're telling us, they're telling me about their projects that they got going on in LA. You know, it's all on what you can afford. You know, there's a lot of equity opportunities out here in the West Coast. Um, Oakland is a great place to invest if you have the money. Um, you know, high cost states are always great because it's appreciation factors. You know what I'm saying? You might not have the cash flow when you're talking about these markets, but the appreciation is definitely there. It's all about what you can afford. So what I try to tell people in and all honesty, not to really sp focus on a specific market, but also focus on what you can afford. Because if you're buying for cash flow in this um, time that we're in, you have to make sure you can make your payments and not really relying on a, on a tenant to make those payments. So go where you can afford, guys. Don't listen to the gurus. Don't listen to me. Go where you can afford, because ultimately you're the one who's responsible to pay that mortgage um, if you're taking out some debt on that. Um, but just, you know, look in your surrounding areas, look in, in the markets where you live, where you're comfortable. Mm -hmm. A lot of people want to invest out of state, but they what they don't show you on the gram is that a lot of these people are losing their shirts because they just don't have the right team. They don't have the right people. They didn't they didn't do their due diligence. Mm -hmm. They didn't go out there and do R&D. Or the cash flow is terrible on it. <clears throat> Or the cash flow is terrible. Yeah. They, they're just so happy to say, hey, I brought our per I purchased a multifamily and the cash flow is just not there. So you got to you got to exercise some patience and some discipline, people. And you got to really understand what you're getting yourself into. So to answer your question, the best place to, to, to buy real estate or the markets to invest in is the ones that you can afford and the ones that you truly researched. How much longer do you think Zillow will be able to buy houses at 20 percent above market value? They got a, um, they got an endless piggy bank. They can buy hard houses as, as long as they want. They know how to raise capital. You know, these they're, you know, these guys are really killing the market, you know, for the first time home buyer, for that low middle class home buyer, because yeah. you got the big corporations, the big hedge funds going out there and buying up single family properties at scale. Um, mm -hmm. so you got to pay attention to this. Um, as something's happening. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's a reason why they're attacking certain markets. So sometimes aggressively gotta, and, yeah. and aggressively doing it. So sometimes you just got to follow the leader. Right. A lot of this stuff. Look, it ain't nothing different when it comes to real estate. People been buying real estate for decades. Ain't no secret sauce. It's just do your research, do your due diligence, understand who are the, who are the market movers. I hear you guys talk a lot about that. Right. Market movers. Mm -hmm. Understand who's the market movers and who's who's really playing this game out here at scale and follow what they're doing. A lot of these Vanguard, folks are buying it. BlackRock, Buffett. Exactly. Buffett, what you say? He owns 6,000 doors? 6,000 doors. Like, you got to pay attention to where these folks are buying and kind of follow the leader because there's uh, either equity play there in the future because they, they're bunkering down right now and they're looking at 10 years, 15 years, especially a lot of these folks who are buying at OZs and Opportunity Zones. You got to look into these things and, and just do your due diligence.
but they're going to buy forever, bro. This is not nothing new. You know, yeah. corporations have been, been been buying since, you know, God knows how long. It's just that now that we have these outlets like YouTube and, you know, Instagram when it's not down, you know, people are now <laughs> speaking about it at scale. So now we're paying attention. So, you know, the information is out there, guys. You just got to really, you know, follow the leader. Yeah. And if you guys do long-term investing, real estate, angel, private equity, acquisition of businesses, mergers, your portfolio at no point, uh, this is the truth. And I know people may not want to hear it. If you ever worry about your portfolio, you don't have enough assets in your collection. You should get to a point where if you get in at great prices on everything, you should have no down weeks consistently. Definitely no down months. So September was a rough month. I told you guys, hey, Apple is going to drop here, right? Shout yeah. out to everybody in the stock club who got in. Same with real estate. You should have enough units to where you wake up any month and you're not having a bad week any week. If you are worried about your portfolio crashing and anything that you're invested in, you don't have enough uh, profitable assets in there to offset any losses that you could face. Because every week and every month for sure, you should be excited about what's to come. And that's why you keep seeing Zillow, Buffett, BlackRock, Vanguard buy everything up under the sun. Well, and I want to add to to invest. I want to add to what you just said, bro. You know, you say you should have enough units. I think it's the opposite. You should have enough reserves. Right. If you have enough reserves, you ain't really worried about. Is it a good time That's to a good buy point. real estate? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So like a lot of people are focused on the wrong thing. You know, people want to be house rich and cash poor. You can't you can't play that game. Can't do it. You can't yeah. play that game. So people need to focus. If see stocks and real estate is a completely different ball game. It's or the, no, it's the same game. It's, it's, it's the same game, but it's yeah. different also on the same time because this is brick and mortar. This is debt. That folks are taking out stock. You ain't taking out no debts unless you're doing margin calls. Then you just really risky. You know what I'm saying? But you don't. But have they to also do. can look in a certain area. I was about to say too much, but you can look <laughs> for certain areas to know where you can get more bang for your buck. And then that way, if you're investing in areas in which most people are not in, you can get more houses and then also get those free and clear. Like people love talking to me, but like, man, the debt thing isn't bad. I'm like, you haven't been in debt then. I don't know one person that's had real debt that, that has not worried. That's real life. Any real credit card debt, any commercial debt, any debt on a house, you always want to get rid of it. But if you guys go look in other areas that are up and coming, and we were in one of them cities. <laughs> hey, man, you guys need to go look not only nationwide, but in different countries as well to see what opportunities are present there. Well, I think I, I think with debt, you got to be responsible, right? You Especially mortgage debt is is good debt, but you got to be responsible just because you can get approved for it. Don't mean you can afford it. And this True. is kind of mm -hmm. what I like to try to preach every day. Like you can go out here and buy a hundred dollars if you got the capital. But are you going to have the capital to, to sustain what we just went through? A lot of investors, you know, they're quiet right now. They ain't sustaining. They're hurt. I speak mm -hmm. to them. They call me. MG, what's going on here? And I'm like, look, mm -hmm. you ain't got no money, bro. Sis, what you doing? I'm looking at your page. I'm seeing all types of all types of nice things like you shouldn't have spent that rent money. I know yeah. we talk about assets and over liabilities and like the assets pay for your liabilities, but you got to be smart. You got to yeah. stack up that rent money for at least two years before you start going out here. spending. And, then, and take that rent money instead of getting the Balenciagas and, and all Gucci and put it into long term. Because and I'm going to be real. Those of you who have not listened to me on what to invest in, when it's time to buy some of these big companies, and buy in early, you're going to be mad that you missed out. There's no thing that you can buy. There's no Mercedes that will replace you missing out on being able to get into Gemini and cracking. I'll tell you now, you have to take those assets and turn them into more assets, and then you will be safe. But everyone wants to ball right now. Hold out for four or five years. A lot of you be like, well, how did you get free? I sacrificed 10 years of my life. It sucked. But being able to talk as freely as I do and be able to pick, like, even now, like, hey, my one day work week is Mondays. After that, I'm off the grid because y'all on tour like crazy. So I got to touch road. <laughs> Look, Hove right? Hov told us years ago, let your ish bubble quietly and then you blow. On the low. It, even now, no, no I, I want to protect. I, I see a lot of rappers who I know I'm doing better than, like, I could. Let's hope they're they, 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 they authentic, though. 
<laughs> True indeed. It's, it's a lot of fugazi going around. Watch, watch. What is that? <laughs> the watch what, watches. Fake, fake watch busters. <laughs> He's not you know, working, man. It's, it's, it's Put a the lot. money into, and there's some self healing that we all have to do. But when you have other people in mind that you want to take care of, it doesn't mean anything. But look, I'm gonna tell you this: jewelry's not a bad investment, though, right? Depending on it, the, it's not bad. You, it's not the best, what you, though. What you buying? Mm-hmm. It's not not the best. Yeah. But if you're buying, you know, from authorized dealers and you're yeah. buying the right time pieces, you know, right now you're up. Yeah. I agree. There'll you're, be you're more up more for listening up. to me, though. You're up, up. But I'm not going to say, hey, look, go spend 100K on, on a watch. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. you know, be smart. Or if they do it the way Maddie J does, which I always give credit. Like, Maddie is, is a genius at using lifestyle to attract leads into his business. Shout out to Maddie J. Yeah. yeah. C to the EO. MG. I love you, bro. We got it. Um... No, bro, this ain't Ransom and Gems, bro. Y'all, y'all kicking me out? No, bro. Yo, hold on. Go hold check on. out Ransom Gems. Ransom Gems this Wednesday. Real, real, real quick, real quick. Shameless plug. Ransom Gems this Wednesday. No, we got an important conversation. Talk to him. We got Sabine, the purpose lawyer. Oh. We're talking about estate planning, Ooh. you know, which is a very important conversation our com- in our community. I'm tired of seeing GoFund- Go- GoFundMe's going around. Um, we, If you're buying real estate, if you're out here investing, if you're doing all these things, you have to have an estate plan. Um, trust, wills, all of these things are important. We're all trying to work our asses off right now to leave it to our peoples. And the only way you can truly leave it is if you have a plan in, in place. So this Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we got our lawyer, Sabina Purpose Lawyer, breaking down the whole trust game. And I'm telling you, this is a much must watch episode for everybody. Earners break bread on Thursday 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Your segue is fire, too. <laughs> where, where could you find it, Matt? <laughs> you, can, you can only find it exclusively on EYL University. So make sure you guys become an EYL University member or a Home Buyers Blueprint community member as well. Peace. That boy been oh, open a, Hey, check. we happy to have him back, man. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. Backdrop.